Hello everybody. About uh, three or four years ago, I made a video about Albury Hillfort. And I talked about you seeing the video of the cave. And the link in the description will be below of me actually doing that. And as I was sort of going through it, I was saying that I've been here more times than I can count. And I was saying that I've taken my friends, we've ridden bikes here. But even as a primary school kid went to the cave that you saw in the other video. And then, a few days ago of this recording, a family friend of ours called Colin, if you're watching this, hello mate, had spoken to my mum. And he said, I love your channel, I love what Dan's doing, but, you know, he was mentioning about old Brie and I thought, oh, do you know what? It got me thinking. And it got me thinking because I was always told that there was more rock shelters and caves at Oldbury Hill. And I was a bit sceptical because in the reports they'd said that um, there weren't any left, that they'd been demolished or um, they'd been excavated. All these different stories about these rock shelters that were at Oldbury Hill. There was also reports of saying that, well, obviously there is sandstone here, but they're not rock shelters and they're not caves. So there was all of this interesting stuff that they were speaking about as to whether it was true or not. So today, I've come to have a look and to see the rumours really were true after all. So there were some caves and rock shelters that I may have missed out on. I'm looking forward to this one. So should you. See you on the other side. Bye for now. Hello everybody, so we're here, we are here, and these are the rock shelters, or well, the start of the erosion of these sandstone rock shelters, and uh, I, yeah, I mean I'm in shock, you know, I'd heard that there was rumour that these were still roughly in good condition, now I've come from the furthest point of the rock shelters coming down here so I'm now at the other opposite side and what we're going to do is we're going to make our way across but um, I was going to try and film some footage down there to give you a perspective of um, really the scale of how, how high we are up but I might do that on the final one um, so you get to sort of see the valley dip now it's been proven that even though there were flints and some tools that were found here, there's no indication that there was any form of permanent sort of settlement for our early man. However, the structures themselves are still fascinating. There's two that I would love to take you to. Um, I'm hoping that uh you get to experience it for the way that i've experienced it but here we are this is the start of them and if i flip you around excuse my camera work for today it's going to be a little bit shaky i'm i'm uh i'll probably say it a few times in the video but i'm just recovering from a bit of unfortunate ill health and i'm quite shaky and um Probably the worst thing to do is probably do something like this where it involves a lot of steep climbing and, and even though we're, we're flat up on the on the flat part of Albury Hill, um, I'm still a little bit unwell. But I needed to get out and do something and my God, like, you know, so I apologise for my hair, I, you know, whatever, but yeah. So this is the start of it. This is our beautiful sandstone, my beautiful sandstone.
if you didn't if you're new to the channel I'm obsessed with sandstone and limestone features I find them amazing I, I think it's nature it's the uh, encompassment of nature itself um, so this is the first one this is the first this is the first is this is the first part of the escarpment that goes right across so what you need to understand is that finger of doom this whole series of sandstone is going right the way across this escarpment and it is extremely steep and quite perilous going down but for good reason and perfect for habitation of early man in the distance is the north downs or the circlement of the north downs and uh well what a, what an incredible treat i have for you today it's um it's awesome time so it's very slippery i've tried to bring the best boots i can out with me today in hope that um I need as much grip as possible because I'm not gonna lie it's just it's just a little bit tricky um, and you can see the sort of terrain even just going down one of the escarpments it's quite tricky it's very overgrown um, it's not the best if I'm being honest in any weather oh we'll lean back Come on then. Um, so yeah, you're. I'm deteriorating already, <laughs> but I'm not going to complain because I'm not going to complain because there's people out there who are in worse positions and situations than me right now. So all I need to do is focus on giving you a oh, really good video. So let's make our way forward. I'm not going to film this all in one go, but how beautiful is this when it comes up onto the flat part of Oldbury Hillfort, looking onwards. Simply stunning. Some cross, assuming some motorbike cross country guys over there, and then in the beautiful distance, the Absolutely stunning North Downs. Absolutely amazing. Wouldn't change it for the world. But we've come to see some history. Ah, oh, this is great. So let's do this. So like I said, I might may or may not film in bits. Um I may, it's, the problem is it's just so slippery and so dangerous. Uh, like I said, I probably picked the wrong time for this time of year, but you know, no such thing as the right time anymore, is there really, everybody? So, here we are. This is, is, <laughs> this is your treat for today. This is the, this is the cave, the cave of, the cave of dreams, <laughs> the tunnel complex that is incredible. Now, you can see this beautiful detail in the sandstone. Look at that. How incredible. And, uh, some as you can see and then this is this is your prize for today everybody and we're going to go in that so I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, get set up and we'll, we'll have a look in there whilst people are shooting pheasants in the distance see you in a minute oh my god this is real this is actually crazy so um, I'm sweating buckets at the moment but was it worth it is the answer. Oh yeah, it was worth it. Now what they've tried to do is they've tried to block this off. As you can see, quite possibly wildlife in this. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful. So let's do it.
is it narrows off. We're gonna have to crawl. And if something comes out, we're screwed. Anyone encounter anything wildlife wise? for traces of tracks. There are some prints. wildlife in front of me I'm screwed this is only one way in one way out So nervous about seeing any wildlife. because I'm so excited I can't believe what I've seen Look. I'm actually shaking I'm so nervous I just cannot believe what I'm seeing is without question incredible.
the passages that nature's made. Used as caves. I've got to be very quiet. Can you see me? Oh my god. This is one of the most incredible things I think I've found. I mean, uh, there is no I can I could I could probably just about get in. I'm moving a little bit more. Into the bigger chamber, but I have to crawl back out. That's the problem. Cave spiders everywhere. Can you see? So I don't really want to crawl through that. <laughs> but that is one of the most incredible things I've seen. <sighs> Can't tell you how nervously excited I am. The problem is, I'll crawl through here. I've got. Oh, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Cave spiders. You... Oh, God. Should not have looked back. There's a freaking huge one right near me. So, that's what I'm have to crawl through. You see my legs. I think the plan is to. Probably reverse out. I daren't not go any closer because of the cave spiders, but and I wish I bought a bigger torch, but you get the idea. Can you see the colour tanning? It's just incredible. There you go. Oh my god, this is I'm quite emotional. I wonder how many people have found this been able to access it since Victorian times. An early man being in here, using it for shelter, not having to worry about freaking cave spiders the size of my fist, which leads me on to a point I'm going to have to reverse and say goodbye to it. So I'm going to reverse so you get to see it and then I won't be. I just do not get it. Freaking cave spider. I just don't want to look backwards, to be honest with you. Do not want to look above me or to the side. Oh god, every time I'm touching the side, I'm just duck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Do not look. Oh, shit. There's a fair few cave spiders in there. I'm not joking. This is literally my head height. I cannot move anymore. Pitch dark. Okay, let's go. What a, oh, fuck. There's a cave spider sack there. Sorry for the swearing. I, oh, God. That's just. No, I'm disgusting. Oh, and another one. God. Right, okay. Just spotted a freaking cave sack. Cave spider sack. Right by me. Okay. Let's turn it. Let's turn and go. blood back into my legs. I don't even want to look what is on me. This is where you're shouting and going, there's a spider on you Dan. There's, there's all manner of things in my hair. My hair looks like a cave spider. A 
Can you believe what we've just seen? Honestly. I've never been more happier to see something in my life. It's just truly incredible. Whew, man. Look. Look. Shall we take a look inside again? Look at that. And I was having to crawl and oh man, that was beyond amazing. And to think these weren't meant to exist or that well you can see, so as I said before, if you look if you look, you can see where they've tried to brick that one up. And uh, the light was peering through some parts of this little cave around there. And uh, the most amazing thing, however, was the colours. These beautiful, beautiful colours that were coming through. Truly amazing. Uh, I'm just grateful because of the cave spiders. I don't know if you saw them, but there was like an egg sack next to me. And, it was getting a bit, ugh, just wanted to get out of there and my face was slowly falling to one side because I've said to you before, I've been very poorly recently, which is probably reflecting on the way I look. Oh look, there's a, did you notice that there? It's like a little pagan spiral sign up there. It could just be a marker to let people know about this one being a cave. Oh well, wasn't that a fun? Oh man, that was something else. Do you know what? It's like there are a few. Obviously, there's a few more I'm going to take you to, but that one's the best one. The fact that. It was on a whim that I came here. That I've been, I've walked my dog around here, I've done everything. I've rode my bike up here more times than I can count. I even went on a school trip to the original first cave that was in the original video. But I've never been to these ones. And do you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. It was so worth it. So worth it. And hopefully for all of you out there, I'll make a, hopefully I'm making a steady recovery back to normal health wise. It's been tough. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna open up to you now. It's been a tough road at the moment to get better, but I'm sort of getting there and yeah, I'll look, I'll hopefully look a little bit better for you in future videos, but look at that. There's more to come, <laughs> but wasn't that brilliant? Wow. I'm going to have a moment to myself now, because I thought that was amazing. So, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Right, so, when we'd come out of there, this is on the other side. And that bit of trickling of light that you could see was what you could see when we went into the cave. I mean, that tiny speck of light is glorious. I'm not gonna lie, it's very, very dangerous here. It's so slippery. There's uh, some rock fall there. It's sandstone, it's what happens. It gets wet, it gets slippery, it's quite malleable. It can fall off, even just standing on it. But I just, it's just incredible. The colours to think that there was every possibility that hunter gatherers man has been using this, even though Harrison thought there was more, and later excavations thought that actually he was wrong, even though there was definitely some evidence. You can't make it up, and these trees with a giant question mark. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see that 
and there's some more there's uh I don't even see that it's just about people have been painting on these wonderful trees in their own way there's an eye there as well how incredible so so this is the problem that I'm facing down there is a dangerously steep ditch covered in leaves the ground is completely unmalleable like I said I've already come down here so I'm sort of taking you back on myself um, the leaves are slippery I'm wearing I said I'm wearing the best boots possible but it's just not helping it's still quite bad um, but yeah here we are Mother Nature's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Just amazing. Now, you can see, this is also part of the cave system. But unfortunately, that's just too shallow. So, you can take a look. There's no way anybody could get through that. Maybe a small child, but how they get out. <laughs> but this is what we're talking about with the erosion. So you can see that this huge sandstone boulder has obviously clapped up, collapsed off of its roof and buried itself here. Probably from this part here. So it almost looks like it's man-made, but it's not, it's, it's natural. You can see because of the discoloration hasn't had time to discolor as much. So I'm assuming it might have been something to do with the tree root system that's here. If I move up, you'll see that the tree roots themselves have probably pushed that down and it's buried itself, although that's quite a deep bury, so it might have might have been elevated from a higher position, but it doesn't look like it because the the heavy trees that are here separate the line and you can see how they these trees are hanging on for absolute dear life on the corner amazing isn't it but look at the view I don't know if you can see that but <laughs> and yet the irony is that above me it's just flat it's Albury Hill it's Albury Hill so yeah. Right, so now, um, hmm. right, I might have to, yeah, right, this one those times I'm going to have to say, I'll see you in a minute, because I need to try and try and get round to the opposite side, so it's quite difficult, I'm trying to traverse, um, so yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So, I've managed to traverse back, and it's really... Not that easy. Um, uh, what has happened is that on top, um, it's like you can't really sort of come down because it's so thick with overgrowth. And it, we're talking springtime. Uh, not springtime, sorry, we're talking autumn. And it's still pretty bad. But I've managed to sort of hopefully take you to the most exciting, second exciting one that there is but I'd like to you to look uh, there it's beyond ridiculous and if I fell like I said I can't see anything on the floor I'm currently slipping at the moment so I might have to move in a minute before my leg gives out but uh, it's a great way to burn calories but as you can see there's a lot of uh, sandstone in the corners so we're coming backwards this way but uh like i said i wanted to show you the the other exciting ones otherwise i'm just sort of showing you just sandstone which is like this so i'm basically just showing you stuff like this these little sandstone outcrops and that's all well and good but you guys want to see the exciting stuff so let's have a look so this will be fun So, 
this is really what you sort of would normally look at when you're here and uh yeah oh god hold on to this so you can see this beautiful stunning sandstone well i mean i said you know it's not everybody's cup of tea some people don't sort of appreciate stuff like this which is fine i get it <laughs> but for me it's incredible oh, yeah, so i just slipped <sighs> That wasn't good. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just literally just slipped. So what there is is there's sandstone on the floor, but it's covered up with leaves. So you think you've got a bit of grip, and then it sort of goes. So again, my legs are just sort of. It's just not good. <laughs> Thank God for this tree, though. <laughs> I'm currently holding on to. So, at some point, these would have probably, these have been hollowed out naturally. That's not a man-made sort of way they've done that. You can sort of see through the middle, if I can get a little bit closer. Although, I'm, I am, I'm quite dangerously slipping, which isn't good. Um, one, two, three, come on, come on, Dad, get some energy, mate. Sorry, guys, I wanted to talk to myself, try and motivate myself to get better um right so you can see the water's trickling down you can see where it sort of naturally erodes the sandstone and you can see the mold of the discoloration what happens is that the, the uh, nature takes over with its funguses and uh, it makes it quite sort of so it's not nice to touch <laughs> it's quite slippery and whatever and yeah it's not nice but if you look across in between the trees, you can see this. So these aren't <laughs> these aren't rock shelters. These, but they would be classed as part of the rock shelter, um, the uh, rock shelter outcrop. Because normally, it's normally you, you, it's very rare that you find a singular cave or a singular. Um, set of sandstone normally there's uh, normally it follows a path so even for example as I just sort of traverse carefully coming down switch arms um, normally if you uh, for example if you're looking at Wellington rocks well that's part of the Arden Lye sandstones so even though that's a part in itself it actually does belong to a group of um, sandstone outcrop so what we need to try and do is this so you can see my you see my problem which but the irony is i've already been up here once it's just overgrown it's touching trees it's making sure you don't slip and he's also not getting your leg caught in brambles or holly look at the holly gorgeous is that coming out really nicely Oh, getting on this, see this what I mean, this ledge, and then holding on to that tree, that's it, okay, here we go, and then, best till last, well it's not really best till last, it's the, it's the last till last, <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, okay, let's go, right, Look at that with the leaves, beautiful orangey, different orange tan colours. But this is even better. <laughs> so, you can see these. So there should be a, there's a cliff and then there's a cave. So, we'll look at the cliff first if we can. Which is a little bit higher up. But we don't mind doing that by trees we duck under that's it so look at that that's the now I've not climbed up this bit yet so there you go look at that 
the colours. Does it get any better? You could paint that and it still wouldn't come out as well. Just incredible. Mother Nature. Mother Nature is a beautiful thing, isn't it? There you go. It's kind of weird because it sort of has the illusion that it should be a cave. And when I was walking through here to get to the far side to come back, I did sort of think to myself, well, it looks like a cave, can't be. I don't remember seeing one here. But it's not. But it looks like it should be. And even if you'd hollowed that out, scraped it out, it wouldn't be, it would, it's too shallow to class as really a cave. So it's just, again, natural erosion that gives a perception. I'm such a geek, I'm such a geek. But here we go, you ready? Ready for this one? Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, this is what makes me feel better. A nice bit of sandstone or a nice bit of look at that look at that it's just poetry isn't it it's the, it's the rare times like this that I do get emotional because we didn't make that well, we've obviously made little holes and worn out little bits in it but Mother Nature's made that. Let's get a little torch out. This isn't this is a very shallow uh, little cave, but it still would be a little cave, so I need to fiddle about there with me. <laughs> I'm still still expecting to find a cave spider. Put my car keys. Just torn myself. Put my car keys in the big pocket because I don't want to lose those. I've just realised that my torch is in my other pocket. There you go. Right. Ta da! Little one. Right. It's not going to make a blind bit of difference, really, but it's enough that you get to see. So let's have a look inside. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Mother Nature. You cannot. Look at the colours from the dripping of the water. Simply stunning. Simply stunning. There's a little... I reckon we can get in there, but I'm just sort of thinking, is there much point? But there's always a point, isn't there? Look at that. Oh, wow. Truly, truly blessed. To have finally figured this out, there's a oh look, there's your graffiti, everyone. So I did sort of say it's. Uh, I know people have been here and everything else, but I didn't realise. You know, I'd only known about the other cave, and so you know, I'd, I'd always heard about it, but it was always more rumour that there were a couple of caves and everything. So look at that, though. <laughs> Wow, just incredible. Look up. <laughs> oh, I love it. We've done it. Done it. <laughs> wow. Does it get any better? I don't know. So that was Albury Hill and its caves and its shelters and it's everything you want to call it, but it's sandstone to me. Whether it was true that Harrison, when he came down here in his antiquarian way, wanted to find some flint tools and 
with the excavation after that proved that there wasn't actual habitation but they might have facilitated it it's still amazing to me it's still amazing because it proves that even though there might not have been early man here people still have visited it it's the most important thing right because this is going to outlast all of us all of this nice isn't it any more words of Phoenix history see y'all very soon peace history matters have a great day whatever you're doing today feel free to spread the word feel free to spread the video do what you can and I promise you next time I see you I'll be 100% better and uh, I'll be fighting my way back but yeah just to let you know by the way just in case you are worried about me um, it's, it wasn't Covid it wasn't anything like that it was a little bit more a little bit more um, operational, shall we say. So, uh, yeah. But it's sort of, you know, it's what happens. Anyway, take care, everybody. Kapow!